Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. As per usual, it's Ander, and we're back with episode 7, which just so happens to be my favorite number. Yay! Chicken. Ooh, nice. So, as you can see, I have added four more compartments onto the mob grinder thing, and it is working just as I expected. Uh, so you can probably see they're falling down uh, fairly rapidly. I mean, it's not like they're going one after the other, after the other, after the other. There's a little pause in between, but I mean, after five minutes of waiting and I come back and I collect all the items, I can get close to 64 of every item, and that's really cool. That's a lot of EMC. Um, the bones and gunpowder are mainly what I want, although, you know, the flesh and arrows are worth a little bit. Uh, and I need some food, because I am almost hungry. And I'm using steak now, just because it's pretty easy to get now with the alchemical table, and I don't have to deal with bowls. And I also got some fish, and... Um, short little story, um, the mob grinder platform now extends slightly into a jungle biome and an ocelot spawned and I was super excited because I wanted to get an ocelot on this and I went fishing and I got all ready and by the time I got back it had despawned and I was super sad. And that's the end of the story. My stories are super boring. Uh, okay, so I've been just uh, grinding EMC basically, and I've been getting a bunch of stuff. I got a lot of copper. Uh, where'd my all my copper go? Must have stored it in one chest. Huh, I wonder where all my copper went. Anyway, I got a lot of copper and uh, rubber. Actually, I got resin, and a lot of people uh, were asking how I got the resin in the first place. I briefly mentioned it last time. And the way I got resin was you get some wooden planks and you basically make the shape of a tree tap like that. And you can get a tree tap. And with this tree tap you can right click on rubber trees that have that orange dot that I had in that rubber tree a couple episodes ago and it'll give you one to three resin. And I basically taught resin to the transmutation tablet and f for now, I take the resin and I cook it in the furnace and it'll give me one rubber per resin. And so I just have a whole bunch of rubber here, but it's kind of not very useful unless I get the rubber I got. I got three stacks of rubber. Oh, there we go. I mean, uh, copper, <laughs> not rubber. I got enough rubber. It's the copper. And basically this episode, I think we're going to start making industrial craft machines. Now I realized after I had finished filming the last episode, I was missing two things. One of them's not fixable until I get an item from the monument, and that is tin. I need tin to actually use most of the industrial craft machines. Most of them are fairly useless to me right now because I have no way of getting electricity and I need tin for that but uh, I can still make all the machines that I need some of them are going to be really expensive I know one of them the MFE unit maybe I think that's what it was requires four diamonds and that's pretty expensive I don't I only have EMC for almost two so we're going to have to get some of that. I think what another one requires one diamond, but yeah, it's just basically going to be a lot of EMC grinding and then show you guys the crafting. But for now, we're going to do as much as we can. The first thing, this was actually the second thing I realized I was missing, is we don't have any gravel. But thanks to the Philosopher's Stone, there's a way to get gravel. And that way is with this sandstone block. And with sandstone, you can tra just transform it with Philosopher's Stone into gravel. And I can pick that up. Oh, I got flint the first time. That's actually not what I wanted. Uh, I still got sand. Wow, what were the odds of that? When you don't want flint, you get it. It's just how life works, isn't it? Oh, well, that's fine. I need flint 
eventually anyways though and there we go we got a block now we're going to both teach gravel and flint awesome and we're actually going to need five flint no three flint so I'll just get four so I can have one extra and I'll store the extra one in here and basically we're going to start making technological thingamajigs and the first thing I'm going to make and a resource that you can never have too much of is wire copper wire this is the most kind uh common uh resource you'll probably or resource item that you'll probably make with industrial crafts copper wire um as you can see it's just um copper in a line with rubber all around it you can make this without putting rubber around it as I'll show you in just a minute but the downside is that uh, if you touch the cable while it's uh, electricity is going through it you get electrocuted and die pretty fast so and you can't use it in crafting recipes so it's almost always better to make insulated copper wire as it's called and I'm going to store two stacks in there and yeah that's basically the most common thing the other thing we're going to need is refined iron which I showed you a couple episodes or maybe last episode it's basically just iron uh, reheated in a furnace again and with this refined iron we can put it in a box like we would a regular furnace and we get a machine block uh, machine blocks are kind of um, required in all basic machines they're actually pretty much where all machines stem from is the basic machine block as you can see I can turn it back into refined iron if I so desire um, what else can I tell you about machine blocks machine blocks you can also get if you use the wrong tool on a machine so for example if I wanted to pick up a machine I had created and I used my pickaxe it would actually destroy the machine and all I get would get back is the machine block to actually uh, pick up a machine you need a wrench and I actually can't get a wrench right now because you need tin as well as copper and then with tin and copper dust you can make uh, bronze dust which is used to make a wrench now that may dust may sound a little weird to you guys but bear with me um, that'll come later probably not this episode because I can't get electricity but we'll get there eventually um, so right now what else do we need to make let's go ahead and make some circuits now these aren't redstone circuits like I showed you from red power these are a lot less complex although I like the copper wire I feel like I'm always missing a lot of it so let's make four circuits for now and force and circuits are made similarly to how um, bronze cable is made except I'm going to put a refined iron in the middle and then redstone all around it the copper cables would take place of rubber in this instance and I didn't put four bars down like a silly person there we go and I can get an electronic circuit awesome and right now I don't know all the recipes off the top of my head for the machine so I'm going to take a quick look and see what's what with them and then I'll get back to you guys and we'll make some machines and we're back this is the first machine we'll be making it's called the macerator and I'm not gonna put it down because I have no way to pick it back up at the moment but basically what the macerator does is actually it's completely useless to me anyway but the macerator will take ore blocks like an iron ore block or a um what else there's lots of stuff in industrial craft like copper or gold and tin and it'll take their ore blocks not diamond or anything that's not normally mined as an ore block but it'll take normal ore blocks and it grinds them up into dust so you and you get two dust for every ore block and every dust you get can be put in the furnace and when you smelt it you get one ingot so it basically doubles the amount of resources you get from one block 
However, since we are playing on a Sky Island type map, there are no ore blocks. Uh, no possible way that I know of. So that machine's actually pretty useless, and we're only making it for the monument. Oh, I really need to manage my inventory a little bit. I'm getting a little crowded in here. Um, yeah, but let's move on to our next machine. We're going to need some wood and create some planks. Where'd my planks go? There we go. I'm going to create sticks, and we're going to create, uh, how many? Five, I think. Yeah, we're going to create five of these, and we're going to make crops. Oh, I only needed three, but yeah, we're going to make crops, and basically what crops do is you can put them down, and you can grow plants around them. I'm not sure if it makes them grow faster or whatnot. It's just a good idea to use them for farming some items. I know with them you can farm nether wart in the regular world, even though you can do that in 1.3 now, I believe. Uh, it was the only way to do it through a mod in 1.2, which I'm using right now, 1.25. And we're going to put five crops down like that. Machine block in the... Oh, I forgot one part. Blow up. Uh, I used all my wood. I'm going to need more wood. Excuse me for that. That was a little goof up on my part. I'm gonna make a chest, and now we're gonna, and then we're gonna put electronic circuits on that, and then we're gonna complete the bottom of the crafting recipe like we did last time. It's the crafting recipe. And that's going to make a crop matron. Um, we might use this later. I'm not sure how useful it'll be. I know I can actually use it. But basically what it does is if you feed it electricity and your acquired items, it'll look after your crops and give them fertilizer, which makes them grow faster. And it waters them, which makes them grow faster as well, I believe. It bas in industrial craft, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with your crops. And um, this block basically does all those things for you automatically. You just need to give it the items and some electricity. And it does all that fancy stuff. Um, right now I'm not going to craft any more uh, machines at the moment. Because most of the other machines are fairly expensive. And I want to get set up in resources before I start crafting them. What we're going to do right now instead is actually, no, we won't feed them in. I like doing them all nine items at a time. I think I'm going to continue farming the mob grinder a little bit. I'd like to get enough EMC to make another machine. Ah, I knew, oh, it's an ocelot. Oh, skeletons, go away. Okay. Oh, are you kidding? It took all my fish. It literally took all my fish. Are you serious, Ocelot? Skeletons? Go away. Seriously. Oh, man. Oh, no. It's going to just spawn, isn't it? Uh huh. Uh, uh, uh. Panic mode. Engage steak fish okay it can't eat 64 fish it's probably already despawned hasn't it oh no yeah it's gone oh wait no it isn't no it isn't ah uh, I can still get it I can still get this I got this guys okay yeah you wanna come right no ah let's get skeletons go worry Skeletons, I swear to god, if you kill me as I'm trying to tame this thing, I will end you. Okay, well, it's going over there, and at least I can... It's safer over there, and I'm safer over there. Okay, so... S stalk the ocelot. Not being creepy or anything. No, you want the fish, right? Fish? Yes? Yeah... 
Yeah, you want it. Okay. Slowly move over to you. One. Oh my god, you're a greedy bastard. How many fish was that? That was like... Eight fish. You are a greedy bastard. Okay, come on, cat. Yay, we actually have a pet for once in this game. Um, I know if I expand actually a little more over that way, it's a tundra biome, and so I could theoretically get wolves as well. But I am perfectly happy with a... I just realized cats will sit on on lots of things, so... Oh, cat, where are you going? never actually had a lot of experience with cats. If I get one, it usually dies pretty quickly. Do they not follow me? Unless I have fish or something? Do I have to feed them like fish every time I want them to follow me? Because that's a sucky pet. Can you come over here? Okay. Well... Can I still sleep in the bed? Hopefully I can. I Oh, I don't want to drive you. <sighs> Kitty? Kitty? Okay. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Kitty will be fine and won't follow me. Um, oh, it's just continuous hearts. Um, anyway, besides that distraction, <laughs> um, I think... See, how am I doing on time right now? Uh, doing okay, I guess. Should probably actually wrap up this episode here in a little bit. Yeah, we'll just call it right now. Um, I'm going to farm the mob spawner a little more. I'm sorry not a lot got done in this episode. Um... A lot of the stuff from now on is going to require a lot of EMC, and there's just not a really fast way of doing it right now. This is probably the fastest way. It's slightly faster than pigmen, but we'll get there, guys. Um, I'm just basically going to farm tons of EMC, get like a jillion diamonds, and then um, set things up for you guys so I know what I'm doing. And yeah, but uh, thanks for watching this episode. Um, remember to comment and give feedback. Um, it really helps me. You don't have to like, subscribe or anything unless you actually like the video or want to see more. I'd hope you do, but um, it's your choice. Um, but until next time, guys, in episode 8, peace out.